Welcome to Sortier Keys. In today's video, I'd like to share how to remake the song by Ricky Daddy Dirty called Vanessa, which was produced by Nariske. Nariske's music is pretty cool. I highly suggest checking out his stuff. And without further ado, let's get started. First, the BPM is 80 and the key is an A major. Before we begin, I want to make a note that all the elements that I used in this video are stock plugins that come with GarageBand. So I really encourage you to open up GarageBand and try to recreate this on your own. There are two drum patterns and they're very both very simple. This kind of drum pattern makes it easy to hear the rap and also the music as well. Let's have a listen. We then have an ocean wave sound which can be heard at the beginning of the song. For this sound I used ocean waves modular. Let's have a listen. The next sound is a vox which you can hear sprinkled throughout the original song whenever the bass comes in. For this, I used Dream Voice, and here it is on its own. We then have a bebop organ, and this is only three notes. Here it is. Next up, we have this guitar. I used the classic Clean in GarageBand. This guitar riff is used to connect transitions. Note that the original is actually delayed, not played over and over again, like you will see here. Let's have a listen. For the additional sounds, which we just went over, this is the last one, which is the harp. This helps with the bigger transitions of the song. The name of the harp that I used in GarageBand is called Harp. So here's the pattern. I used Wurlitzer Classic for the melody, and there are two melodies. Let's listen to melody A. Let's listen to Melody B. For the chord progression, I used the classic electronic piano. There are two chords and a dyad, which is a two note chord. It follows this pattern throughout the whole song. The cool thing about this chord progression that I want to point out is that even though this song is in a major key, A major, Nariske, the music producer, uses the two minor chords in this key to anchor the song. This is just one of the very many cool techniques that Nariske uses that I just wanted to share. Let's listen to the chord progression. Right, the very last element I want to share is the sub bass and the bass I used for this 
is the Super Sub 808 base. The cool thing about this pattern and this base is that it's very simple and it's only played in a select few places throughout the song, which has more impact. Let's have a listen. This was so much fun to remake and I hope this encourages you to open up GarageBand if you have it and give it a try. I want to point out that the talent that went into the original song cannot be overlooked and this version that I'm sharing with you today is a very very humble remake but my hope is that it sparks inspiration in you and motivation to create something. Make sure to check the original on YouTube and support the artists that put so much work into this final product. If you found today's video helpful or entertaining and you want to see more videos like this, consider liking, subscribing, and leave a comment about which song you want to know how to make. Thank you so much for watching.